Hello and welcome to the second episode of The Itch, the Scratchcast podcast, Little Brother. Hungrily picking up and devouring content that may have otherwise evaded the head scratcher's gaping maw. Today we're going to be looking at Got to Be Tough by legendary Jamaican ska and rocksteady pioneers Toots and the Maytals. This album was released on the 28th of August, just two weeks before the tragic and untimely passing of lead singer Frederick Nathaniel Toots Hibbert at the age of 77. I first discovered Toots and the Maytals back in the early noughties from playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the PlayStation 2. Perhaps one of their biggest hits, Pressure Drop, along with Funky Kingston, featured in the game's fictional radio station KGR West. I was then further treated to their 1968 hit, 5446 was my number, and the opening credits of Shane Meadows' 2006 visceral and gut-wrenching movie drama This is England. Since then, Toots and the Maytals have been a firm favourite and reoccurring band to feature my music playlist over the years, one of my go-to artists whenever I'm feeling down, upset or stressed out. The open bars of Pressure Drop, along with its shuffling guitar and that rock-steady groove that's since become a stalwart feature of the ska and reggae genre, complete with Toots' soulful vocals, never fail to put a smile on my face. Similarly, songs like Pomps and Pride and the band tradition of Louis Louis are so immediate, uplifting and bursting with positivity that I challenge anyone not to like them and indeed fall in love with them. Got to be tough oozes with a lot of that same optimism and positivity, even on numbers that are blatantly referencing racial oppression, such as track number two, Just Brutal, for example. Track bursts open with this really confident sounding horn section, funky guitar like some really gravelly and soulful vocals that coalesce into something that feels really positive and self assured. Almost feels like an act of defiance in and of itself, and it's almost laughing in the face of adversity. And needless to say, it's an all round banger and one of my favourites on the album, if not my favourite song on the album. This then gives way to track number three and the album's namesake, Got To Be Tough, which seems to follow along the same vein, albeit in a more refrained manner. This song feels more like a traditional ska or rock steady number in comparison with track number two and indeed the first track on the album. However, that's not to say that it isn't without its own idiosyncrasies and appeal. The open few bars and reoccurrent synth almost sound like a pressure gauge letting off steam, however it's strangely aggratiating and I quite enjoyed it after a while. Toots' lyrics feel like wise and sagely advice from your much-loved granddad as well, which feels ever more poignant and insightful given the circumstances around this album. The album chugs on with Freedom Train, which feels like a commentary on the current state of affairs, with lyrics such as working people don't get a raise in pay and old people's pensions going underground. However, nevertheless, it seems to convey a message that we could strive towards something better if we join forces and work together. Similar track number five, Warning Warning, is this kind of shuffling, rock steady, cautionary tale which is punctuated by electronic drums with Toots espousing the virtues of being respectful and caring for others. Track number six, Good Thing You Called, feels like something straight out of that golden era of Motown with Toots channeling some serious Otis Redding vibes. Though the song opens with this dreamy sounding guitar flourish, cushioned by this lovely tempered horn section. There's also the odd smatter of either a glockenspiel or a xylophone in there too, and it's just really nice. It's a lovely wee moment in the album, and a, a, a proper high point, I would say. We're then later treated to a cover of Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, as you've never heard it before. The track fades in with a few bars of looped female vocals before launching forward in some bold and brazen horns, some electronic drum stabs, and a really upbeat and energetic vocal performance from Toots, and also Bob Marley's son, Ziggy Marley. Track number nine, Having a Party, feels like the band are kind of going back to their roots. And on the longest track in the album, at 5 minutes 21 seconds, they serve up a truly rollicking and cheerful dancehall banger, guaranteed to have any rude boy and rude girl up on their feet. The album ends on a high with Struggle, which almost feels like a contradiction in terms, but it's another kind of funky, soulful number. Fades out with this choral refrain of the band singing, We Got to Stop the Fighting, the Shooting and the Killing, in what I suppose is now Toots' lasting message to his listeners and indeed his fans, a message of hope and optimism for a better future. I would say this ba- this album is definitely worth checking out and a strong 8 out of 10 for me. It is a fantastic contribution to what was already a very impressive career, spanning over what I think is about 50 years. Um, Although Toots may have passed, I'm sure that his music will continue to be appreciated and rediscovered for generations to come. Like 
As ever, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this album and indeed this feature. Please don't hesitate in contacting us either on Facebook or Instagram to let us know what you'd like to see us cover in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Scratchcast podcast on either Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts from. That's it for now. Thanks for listening. Cheers. I'm lingering on.